A Makakilo couple is fighting in court over how to divide their property after ending a 14-year relationship. It could be a routine divorce, except the couple is gay. KTV 4s Daryl Huff joining us with our top story. So, Daryl, how can people who weren't allowed to be married get a divorce? That's exactly the issue, Laura. They can't. Joanne Gibo says her relationship was just like marriage, both partners investing emotionally and financially. But when it suddenly ended in January, she realized she had no divorce court to protect her from poverty. Literally, she just came in the door and said, we're through. Even, uh, so Joanne Gibo says a younger woman came between them, ending a relationship in which she depended on her partner's income and retirement. She didn't want me to draw a salary at my job because she made enough money to take care of us and to put away. Like other gay couples, Guibo says they hoped to marry if it became legal. They also hoped for civil unions, but putting their arrangements in writing didn't seem important. We got along really well all those years, and I was just never worried about it. She said she even gave up her cabinetry business to care for her partner's aging parents. I considered them, you know, to, to be my in-laws. Um, we referred to them as such. It just was my thing to do. Gibo says she was stunned by both the breakup and her sudden poverty. One thing that went through my mind was, you know, but I don't have anything. Everything is yours. Um, you know, what about that? And she said, well, yeah, sorry, everything is mine. Your name's not on it. Hawaii has no common law or palimony for unmarried couples. So Joanne Gibo is suing her partner here in civil court saying that they had a verbal contract like marriage and asking for assets that she'd be entitled to if they were divorced. All I want is what married people would have if it happened to them. That would be half the real estate, shared custody of their dogs, and a share of her partner's pension. She promised me, I'm 53 years old. Um, I don't have a lot of time left, you know, before I retire. The attorney for Gibo's partner sent us an email saying she disputes Gibo's claims in the lawsuit and may file a countersuit if it can't be resolved out of court. She wants to keep this as private as possible. That's why we didn't use her name in the story, Laura. This is a really interesting case. Now, has this kind of lawsuit been tried here before? It is, I'm told by experts, very rare and very difficult in Hawaii, but they say the story does help explain why same-sex couples are fighting so hard for laws like civil unions to govern their relationships, Laura. To use a popular phrase, a sign of the times. Thanks, Daryl.